What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Again, with my dividend investing strategy, I want to make money while I sleep. I am at $100,000 with my dividend portfolio. Now, I don't want to completely rely on the yield max ETFs. So I have three new dividend stocks that I bought, pretty good dividend growth stocks to help me earn dividends each month. So with their dividend distribution schedules, I'm, I'll be making dividends every month. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Smash that like button. Let's check out these dividend stocks right now. So here's a dividend stock that I've been targeting. And I'm going to be buying on Monday. Citigroup. The symbol is C. Sitting at 59.14, a dividend yield of 3.58%. A PE ratio of 14.63, average volume 15.79 million. By the way, it's a really powerful regional bank. I like powerful regional banks, not small regional banks. I like the big ones. Bank of America, Fifth Third Bank Corp, P Corp. I like those big ones. Market cap is 113.02 billion US dollars. Year range is 38.17 to 63.90. Day range is 5887 to 6260. Previous close is 6071. As I said before, I've been going after the real estate sector and financial sector. This one's been down. I've been targeting them. I'm going to show you the revenue trends and dividend history. And yes, this is what I like about them. Their revenue has increased significantly. This is annually in millions of US dollars. 2016, 83,000. 2017, 88,000. 2018, 97,000. 2019, 103. 2020, 88,000. Well, guess what? Pandemic hit, so you're going to see that. 2021, 79,000. Major dip. Check this out. 2022, 101. 2023, 156. Huge increase in revenue from 2016 to 2023. I had to capitalize, and I'm going to show you its distribution schedule with the dividends and its dividend history. Looking at Citigroup, let's first go over their distribution schedule. It appears to be August, May, November, and February. So that just remember that schedule. That's one. Now I'm going to jump to their dividend growth. 2017, 16 cents. 20, it was a little stagnant with 2017, 2018 at 32 cents. 2018, it was at 45 cents. 29 cent, I'm sorry, 2019, it was 51 cents. A little stagnant from 2019 to 2023. I'm going to blame the pandemic, but guess what? They just hiked their dividend. Their earnings report is really good. So in 2023, 2024, 53 cents. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, there's no guarantees, but I'm hoping there's a dividend hike soon. Payout ratio is 38%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is two. Dividend growth in five years is 1.31%. You bought one share, you made 212 with a 3.49% dividend yield. Very attractive to me. I like the most recent earnings report. I see some serious potential. That's why I'm buying it. You don't have to buy this dividend stock because of me buying it. But I. Going at its distribution schedule, I'm going to show you the next dividend stock because that one fits with this one. So let's check that one out. It's a new dividend stock I bought, which is Medtronic. Now, Medtronic, really big medical device company. The biggest thing that they have is pacemakers. A lot of patients I see in the hospital needing pacemakers, and it's by Medtronic. Medtronic has a lot of medical devices that's been down, like I said before. Um, there's pumps. A lot of stuff that they bring to the table. I had to capitalize on it. Sitting at 80, 83, not doing too hot against the S&P 500 since 2021, 2022. So it was time to buy it, and its schedule was really good. Dividend yield 3.42%, a PE ratio of 25.58, average volume 6.31 million. The market cap is 107.13 billion US dollars. Year range is 68.84 to 92.02. Day range is 80.68 to 81.79. Previous closes 82.16. Now let's jump to the revenue trends and dividend history. Now this has really exploded in revenue, and this is what really attracts me. So annually in millions of US dollars, 2014, 285, 2015, 272, 2016, 274, 
2017, 301, 2018, 501, 2019, 713, 2020, 934, 2021, 1526, 2022, 1598, 2023, 1072. Still, that explosive um, influx of money is still what attracted me. Now, what they bring to the table, they have a lot of stuff that people need. Like I said, pacemakers, pumps. There's a lot of things that I see that um, they sell in the hospital. People are getting, unfortunately, sicker, and they're going to require pacemakers if their heart make, hearts are not working. Rejection fraction lower, which is like they'll do an echo, and usually they'll have you wear a life vest, save your life. You have a lower ejection fraction, left ventricle that they see in some issues. You've got a pacemaker, defibrillator to shock you into life, as well as the people that have very low heart rates. They're going to need a pacemaker. So, starting to get in demand, the obesity rate getting higher, the sedentary lifestyle is getting higher. So, I had to capitalize on it. And I'm going to show you its dividend history and schedule. I'm going to first start with its distribution schedule. So it appears to be in January, March, July, and October. So just be aware of that. There was a little bit on the 28th of December in 2012, but it's been pretty consistent with a schedule. So 2012, it was 24 cents, 26 cents. 2013, it was 28 cents. 2014, it jumped to 31 cents. 2015, it jumped to 38 cents. 2016, it jumped to 43 cents quarterly distribution. 2017, 46 cents. 2018, 50 cents. 2019, 54 cents. 2020, 58 cents. 2021, 63 cents. 2022, 68 cents. 2023, 69 cents. So according to Zach's, their payout ratio is 52%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is five. Dividend growth in five years is 7.07%. Bought one share, you made 276 with a 3.36% dividend yield. So here's the thing. With the uh, schedule, okay, the revenue trends are not too bad. It's been a little up and down, but there is a high demand for them. I had to capitalize. And, you know, the thing with Medtronic is, it, again, they're very consistent. Um, I've had to interrogate pacemakers myself, you know, with Medtronic. So a lot of Medtronic, a lot of them are on contracts with hospitals, uh, which is huge. And again, with all the products they bring to the table, it, it's amazing. Let's jump to the final dividend stock. This one may surprise you. And yes, I'm back at it with Target, sitting at 168.15. Past five years has done well against the S and P, starting to creep back up. So it's been down. You now I did sell them for a little tax loss harvesting. I tried to chase it. It's low point. It should have held. That's fine because the money I threw in was into um, you know some of my uh, um, yield max ETFs, and that's helping out. But let's look at this. Even you know, a 2.62 percent, a PE ratio of 18.80. The other thing I've been reading about is them locking up a lot of stuff to protect theft. That grabbed my interest a little bit. They're trying to. There's some articles that they're trying to, um, kind of like be a mirror image of Costco. That attracted me. Average 4.34 million. The market cap is 77.62 billion U.S. dollars. The range is 102.93 to 181.86. Day range 167. 78 to 17106 previous close was 17133 I had to capitalize I it's just certain things that you have to think about it go in I, I went in and I'm glad I did and I'm gonna get some nice dividends their revenue trends their earnings report was really good uh, and I'll go over their revenue trends now they're not as good as Costco going to tell you that straightforward but something that price being down i had to capitalize on and then having the yield max etfs distribution by something like this something i had to capitalize so going after the real estate sector and financial sector but there's certain stocks 
that I've been targeting because they've been down and they have a really good distribution schedule. So I'm going to jump to the revenue trends and dividend history. I'm going to start annually in millions US dollars, 2016, 73,000, 2017, 70,000, 2018, 72,000, 2019, 75,000, 2020, 78,000, 2021, 93,000, 2022, 106, 2023, 109, 2024, 107. So another thing I like to crack jokes with, I was with uh, Ross and Ryan and uh, Harris, said if you ever mention the word target to your girlfriend or wife, you're going to get sucked into shopping. So that's a very popular place. Now, another thing is wokeism and stuff, and the politics kind of hurt their stock a little bit. So I'm kind of capitalizing on that. Um, I, I know it's kind of crazy with people... Um, bringing up politics and stuff, but stuff that I myself like to buy dips. It's a really good dividend growth stock. Its revenue has been consistent. Most recent quarter was phenomenal. So I'm going to jump to its dividend history real quick. I'm going to start in 2012. Now let's look at the schedule. Okay, June. Here you got the six. You got September, December, and March. Okay, so pretty sure I covered that. Hopefully I got my months correct saying that, but seeing the distribution, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my video when I'm editing to make sure I got these months correct, but and set them correct, because when you're going rapid fire trying to do a video, um, you gotta make sure that you say the right months, because this is my dividend investing strategy. So I'll go over it one more time with these dividend stocks before I conclude everything. But 2012, 30, 30 cents. 2013, 36 cents. 2014, 43 cents. 2015, 52 cents. 2016, 56 cents. Then 2017, 60 cents. 2017, 62 cents. 2018, 64 cents. 2019, 66 cents. 2020, 68 cents. 2021, 90 cents. 2022, 108. Then 2023, 2024, 110. Their payout ratio, according to Zacks, is 49 cents. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is five. Dividend growth in five years is 15.40%. You bought one share, you made 440 with a 2.57% dividend yield. So I just showed you the target schedule. I'm going to go back to the Medtronic and the Citigroup just for you. Just for you guys, just to do a recap real quick. And like to sum up everything. So here's Citigroup's distribution. February, May, August, and November. Now I'm going to jump back to Medtronic. So again, with Medtronic, January, April, July, and October. I just wanted to sum that up with you guys just to show you with the distribution schedule and that pretty pretty on with the schedule. So that's my strategy that these are the three dividend stocks I bought. So I just wanted to go over that with you. If you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so don't miss future videos for free videos. Free dividend investing strategy uh, videos. Everything's free for you. So I'm just letting you know, hit that subscription button, hit the notification button, you got free videos. You guys take care and have a great Friday, and I'm going to jump to my disclaimer. So as a reminder, this is a disclaimer. Do not use my YouTube channel for any form of financial advice. This is strictly for entertainment purposes only. Do not use my YouTube channel for any form of financial advice or tax advice. Best seek financial advice from a financial advisor and tax advice from a tax advisor. Investing is a big risk. You can gain money, you can lose money. So make sure you do your due diligence and speak with a professional advisor when it comes to investing. You can gain money, you can lose money. Be aware of that. Take care and have a great Friday.